Hi, this is Amy Liebman with Potter Electric Signal. Today I'm going to introduce you to the PSN series power supply. One of its most unique features is the ability to synchronize multiple manufacturers strobes out of one cabinet. What you're looking at right now is a wall of strobes. We've got Potter Amseco, Gentex, Wheelock, and System Sensor. By the end of this video they're all going to be synchronized using the PSN series power supply. It also has more power and more circuits than other notification power supplies on the market today. I'm going to introduce you to these features, as well as a few others, in this short video. The PSN series power supply comes in two sizes, a 6 amp and a 10 amp. The PSN64 has 6 amps of power, 4 notification circuits, and 1 aux power circuit. The PSN106 has 10 amps of power, 6 notification circuits, and 1 aux power circuit. Both panels can be wired class A if necessary. Another thing to take note of is that all fire products from Potter Electric Signal have a 5 year warranty, including the PSN series power supply. Today we're going to be looking at the PSN64. Any differences between the PSN64 and the PSN106 I'll make sure to point out. Opening up the cabinet of the PSN series power supply you'll find two boards mounted on the inside. The board on the left is the power source for the PSN series power supply. The board on the right is where all your terminations will be made as well as where you will set the characteristics for your NAC outputs. We're now going to look closer at some of the terminals on the PSN series power supply starting with the left hand side. There are two trouble relays, general trouble and AC loss. The general trouble relay will trigger when there is any trouble condition at the power supply. The AC loss relay will trigger when the panel loses its dedicated power source. You can also program a delay time for the AC loss trouble to trigger the general trouble relay. From there we move to the battery terminals. The PSN series power supply will charge up to two 55 amp hour batteries and the panel will hold up to two 18 amp hour batteries. Moving to the board on the right, we'll start with the two input triggers. Each NAC can be programmed to follow one or both of the trigger inputs. The two trigger inputs allow for greater flexibility when installing the PSN series power supply. The most common application is when the silence button is pressed at the fire alarm control panel that the strobes remain flashing and the horns are silenced. This can easily be accomplished with the PSN series power supply. From there we move to the reference end of line. The PSN series power supply uses a standard 5.1K end-of-line resistor. In retrofit applications where a value other than 5.1K is already in use, determine the value of that existing end-of-line and install that resistor at the reference end-of-line terminals. All NAC wiring will then be supervised based on this value. Any end-of-line value from 2K to 27K can be used. If no reference end-of-line is connected, 5.1K is assumed. The reference end-of-line terminals can save considerable installation time in retrofit applications. The next set of terminals is the DC power, aux power terminals. You have three amps of power that can be configured as continuous or door holder power. We're now moving to the NAC outputs. You'll notice that I'm missing NACs 5 and 6 on my PSN64. If this were a PSN106, NACs 5 and 6 would be there. Each NAC output is configured through the dip switches on the right. The NACs can be configured as constant power, ANSI temporal pattern, they can follow the DC power characteristics, they can also be set up as Potter Sync, Gentex Sync, System Sensor Sync, or Wheelock Sync. Each circuit is configured independently. So for example, you could have one circuit of Potter, one circuit of Wheelock, one circuit of Gentex, and one circuit of System Sensor, and all of your strobe circuits would sync together. That's called QuadraSync. Remember the wall of strobes from the beginning of the video? Now using QuadraSync technology, we're going to get them all to sync together. In order to see the synchronization, we've added a filter to the video. And remember, it's the PSN64 and the PSN106, two sizes for every project. And don't forget, there's a five-year warranty with all of our products. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.